Here we go. Let's call in these two teams for this ball game. First, Tara Firma 3x3. From a St. Lux and Ballers at number 12, Jeremiah Talandua. From Tuggy and the other, number 17, Red Cachuala. From Sosa Gold at number 29, Jeff Pulawa. From Das Markabit at number 39, Shaq Alonis. Coach of Telefirma 3XC, Coach Raymond Tioko. Your opponent, Zambuco Valletas MLB. From Paso Naka, Zambuco City at number 11, Joe Valcantara. From Talon Talon, Zambuco City at number 24, Jero Ferrer. From Santa Maria, Zambuco City at number 34, Dawash Bedetti. From Carmen in Cebu at number 48, Reed Huntilia. Coach of Zamboanga Valientes, Coach RJ Argamino. Referees for this game, roll down the old soil, Nino Mopsanas. Pinasimple ni Coach Raymond Chonko yung paliwana kung bakit hindi sila nakakasunod-sunod na panalo and why they're not able to win the leg all the way. They're not consistently playing disciplined offense and defense. Hindi pwede yung isa lang doon yung tatrabahuhin nila. Yung matiba yung depensa tapos iaasa yung opensa sa swerte o chamba or vice versa. It always has to be a conscious effort to execute on both ends, gentlemen. Thank you, Miss Apple David. Pwede lang sunduin, Coach, si Apple. <laughs> Pwede lang sunduin. That will be her... Alam, alam mo, teammate, chinek ko yung ways. 50 minutes pa baba. <laughs> so, si Apple, nasamahan tayo hanggang mamaya. Wala ng traffic dito mamaya. Dito muna siya, dito oh. muna siya, no, coach. Nagulat ako, eh. Dinobol siya ko. 50 minutes pa baba. Tera Firma, naghahanap ng na kanilang uh, pangalawang panalo. They were able to win earlier. They started this their campaign today with a loss to Platinum Karaoke 21 to 16. Nakabawi naman sila 21 to 15 against the Sister Super Steelers. Oh. While Bulawan, oh. kaya tayo naging defense doon ni Bideri sa kanya. Puntilya, umatake sa gitna, oh. nabitin, kinaliwa yung layup. May, may heavy legs na tayo nakikita rito. Both teams playing their third match of the day. But that's the way it is. Pag nandun ka sa pool na apat ang mga teams na kinabibilangan. Yeah. Nga po, no? Parehong kumpunan. Tatlong laro. Ang makukumpleto. May mga araw na to. Bukas, one more matchup in this pool. Sa pagitan naman ng Platinum Karaoke at Sista Super Steelers. Until we see that game, doon pa lang natin malalaman kung ano yung magiging itsura ng uh, Abante coming from uh, this Pool C here in Leg 4. So nakikita ko, Pool C at Pool A pwede magkaroon ng complications. Mm -hmm. Tapos, actually, pati Pool B at Pool D. Kasi nga, meron posibleng magtabla. At one and one. Correct. Yes. Right. Start here for Terra Firma as they lead 5 to 1. Puntilla scores with a one hander. Itong Zamuanga, yun nga, nakapanalo na sila, no? Contra sa North Fort, they picked up that win. And for them, it should have been something to turn their fate a yes. moment. Yes, Pero, yes. again, the challenges of 3x3. Yung pagpapalit-palit ng mga lineups, it continues to elude them on how to perform consistently dito sa ating PBA Tricks. At saka hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na kung ano yung ganda lang laro mo last leg, tuloy dito sa uh -huh. leg na susunod. Dahil uh, unang-una yung turn around natin, we played Monday, Tuesday, and then we resume Saturday. Yep. So, halos dalawang ensayo lang sila eh. Lalabas. Kasi pahinga ka ng Wednesday, sigurado. Saya ka ng Thursday, saya ka ng Friday, laro ka na ng Sabado. Na agad. Oo. Oh. Unlike doon sa previous conference, sa minsan, meron tayong stoppage. 
o lumalak daw dito, tuloy-tuloy talaga. Ganon din sa first conference na meron tayong legs na multiple play dates sa loob ng isang linggo. Coach, wala talagang guarantee sa PBA 3x3, you know, the number 14 team in, in leg 3. Yes. Defeated the champion of leg 3 dito exactly. sa leg 4. Exactly. Ang Hinebra na nag-second place. Hindi nakatawid doon sa nakalipas na leg. First two legs, podium. Correct. Third leg, 14. Diba? That's why you have to put in the work. Leg in, leg out. Hindi ka pwedeng tumigil, hindi ka pwedeng mag-relax. You need to overcome the bumps and bruises, the injuries, the lineup adjustments. That's just the challenge of 3x3 basketball. Montilla. Pulls up over Cachuela again. That pure stroke leading to a basket. Put on the line though, only a one-pointer. Tapos, namigay siya ng foul dito as they could not transition on defense. Terra firma, eight. Puntilla, four. Lahat ng puntos para sa blue shirts ng Valientes. Galing kay Reed Puntilla. In terms of offense, maganda sana yung meron kang kombinasyon ng Bernardo at Alcantara. It worked out well. For Zamboanga, unfortunately on offense, magbabayaran mo talaga eh, when you have two players who are not that tall, especially going up against the powerhouse teams, they will take full advantage sa lack of ceiling nitong Zamboanga when they do have Bernardo and Alcantara on the squad. Alcantara, jumps it down low, bumalik yung bola sa kanya of the carom. Okay, it's Bederi for the lefty layup. Unti-unting bumabalik dito ang Sambuanga Valientes. Si Taladua siya yung mainit kanina. Natapikan siya ng bola palabas. 2.4 seconds remaining sa shot lock. Naalala ko si Gary David eh. Nagbabagang mga kamay. <laughs> Alanes, quick trigger. A little too strong there. Ferrer with the rebound. Huntilla all alone for the layup. Five for Huntilla now. Zambaga. Rather, Terra Firma is within reach because of this scoring surge coming from Reed Huntilla. Was a total of five of the team of 13 six points. Bukas na bukas to for Alanes. Two point shot is good. The master of the set shot. Can't leave him too open for a long time. Pero on the return play, Alcantara knocks in a two point basket of his own. Not a clean transition on defense. Taladua, one-on-one -on -one contra kay Hontilla. As he draws a foul for another free throw. Agresivo. As he hingi po ng timeout, ang Zamboanga Valientes MLB. They're in this, only down by two. 10 to 8 against Terra Firma 3x3. This is the pool that uh, these two teams are in. A lot of things can happen depending also, not just with the results sa labang ito. A win here by Terra Firma will push them up to 2-1 and one and will eliminate some Buanga in the running. Pero ang Sista, haharap pa sa Platinum bukas. If Sista beats Platinum, there will be a triple tie. Pag nanalo ang Platinum laban sa Sista, pasok na ang Platinum at Terra Firma. Pero kung Sista ang manalo sa Platinum, babalik na naman tayo sa quotient system with a triple tie between Platinum, Terra Firma, and the Sista Super Sealers. Pwede rin namang maging triple tie at 1 and 2 kung Tama. matalo yung Terra Firma today at matalo at ang Sista, Sista Bukas. Bukas. Oh, nagsabi niya na. <laughs> Gusto natin yung mga mahirap eh. <laughs> yung magmamat si Coach Ronnie eh. Hindi, ako yung event maker. Ayun, mamaya kakausapin ko na agad yan immediately after the match. 10 to 8. And they finally cleared it. Alcantara oh, gets the two points shot and one. Okay, nagbabadya ang aking teammate na mga mahiwagang pangyayari na posibleng mangyari dito sa sitwasyon uh, sa pool na kinabibilangan ng Terra Firma at ng Zamboanga Valiente. Yung hindi lang talaga pa panic sa Zamboanga, no? even if you pick up this win, ang baba talaga ng score nila in the first two matches. Uh, that will hamper their uh, opportunities. Only nine points against Sista. Pang, pang isang laro lang yung combined nila oh, na dalawa, eh, di ba? Oo, lang total nila eh. But still, again, you want just to pick up this win. Pang-kumpiyansa, to give yourself something to feel good about. 
as you continue to work closer to you know, your goals of becoming a competitive PBA 3x3 team. Kala mo, pag tinignan mo, simple lang, ano? Put, a, put a, a group of players together and let them play. It's not as simple as it is. Yep. There are intricacies of playing 3x3. And of course, the opposition has uh, really elevated the level of play from the first time we saw action last November all the way to 2022. Nasa huling pahina na tayo ng ating uh, third conference of the PBA 3x3 first season. Zamboanga Valientes all of a sudden enjoying a two-point lead. Babawasan niya ni Alanis with the layup. Ang drawback sa kanila, they are over the limit. Committing six fouls already. That was close to being a foul mula kay Alcantara. Diba? Alanis, tumatake. Left-handed layup. Biti ng konti. Alcantara with the board. Ginugulo siya. Itong si Taladua. Three seconds to shoot. Oh, there's a foul against Tera Firma. That's a bailout foul dahil paubos na yung shot clock dapat. Meanwhile, we will head to our TV timeout. It is 13 to 12. One point lead for Zamboanga Valientes MLV. Uh, this is the part of any match. Natutukot ka. Or lalakas ka. Depending on the game situation and how fit you are. And this is also the part of the game na kung saan yung mga veterano at yung mga sanay na sa ganitong situation, nakakaisip ng mga paraan to turn things around if they're down or build on their edge in case they're up. 13 to 12, one point lead for the Blue Shirts. Fresh 12, Bideri down low, making his move. Sobra yung layup. Uh, just a uh, dead ringer for Peter Naron, itong si Bideri. I just couldn't help but say that Ilang legs ko na siyang tinitignan na naaalala ko talaga si Peter Naron. That twister? Diba? <laughs> the stutter Pwede. step twister. Sa Tagalog, turun po. <laughs> Meanwhile, a foul whistled against Zamboanga. So, they will be giving away two free throws. Naaalala ko dati, pagkalaro namin siya, lahat kong sasabihin, eh, mas tetnik ako sa'yo, dahil tuwing awak mo. <laughs> stutter step ka lang, stutter step. Hindi na kayo nagkasabay ko, Sir Shell. Nagkasabay kami. Shell. Yan ang isolation player namin. Ibigay mo, dadobole nila. Kasi kung hindi, kasi nga, stutter step, stutter step. Oh, Galing gumalaw eh. Ang hirap basahin eh, no? Sa kaliwete, kaliwete pa. Uy. Easy steal there for yes. Cachuela. Yes. Ayong pasa from Alcantara. Ito na. Taladua sa ilalim. And when your team is in penalty, good luck trying to stop Taladua. Sayang yung uh, transition counter. And Sabuanga has lost the hold on the lead. Now they're down by two. Kanina, lapang ng dalawa, di ba? 32-11, yes. a four-point counter for Terra Firma 3x3. Alanes gets the first step. Kicks it out. Mulawan with that one-hander, no good. Rebound, nagagawan si Pereira at Huntilla. They finally send it to Reed Huntilla for the tie, no good. Excellent closeout coming from Alanes. Just takes a little effort to locate. Challenge and blockout. Kick out pass na punta kay Alanes. Ang layo nung dos. As Ferrer has been working hard on the glass to win the possession for Zamboanga. Oh, oh. What happened there? I think baka tinamaan ng konti yung shoulder nitong si Mulawan. Oh, oh, no? It was on defense. Oh, oh, eh. Yung challenge niya, eh. Okay, balik ka niya. Parang, parang nangyayari na dati, no? Nawawala sa sakin. Baka, no? oo. Pero pa ako isang player na nakita, eh. Na pinalik din niya, eh. I think yun yung nangyari kay Gwyn Capasso in the last leg. And we hope that Blauwan will be okay to continue. Uh, Taladua, nagpabiti na naman. Mintis yung tira. 15 to 14, Untilia almost, but look at this, Ferrer ties the ball game, 15 all. Good track down coming from Ferrer, finally scores for the Valientes. Alanes, one on one, slicing up the defense of Zamboanga. He's at the field day, going to his left, which is his strong side. 
Ferrer, again, just working hard. Castle Mintis, yung kanyang putback. Has to finish better than that if they are to win against the very tough Terra Firma unit. Puntilla, panglamang, no good. But they're still in this, only down by one. Terra Firma, pumunta kay Cachuela. And that's a foul. That's two more free throws coming up. Got to be aware. Score. Game clock, shot clock, foul situation. They give up. Not a point, but two free throws for Cachuela. 16 to 15. Right when Zambanga was battling back, Ferrer had a golden chance to tie the score. Good running. When you're that tall and big and so close to the basket. But si Gurado na yan, eh, no? Kasi hindi mo makupulot, eh. Split from the free throw line. So, boy, pa po itong Zambuanga only down by two. Step back for Alcantara. That's a wild one. Lawan back in the ball game. Taladua. Pinilit sa loob. That's bully basketball for Taladua. Who's about 20 pounds heavier than Alcantara. 20 lang, coach. Maybe. Ako, nasa 40. Siguro yan, coach. Ikaw talaga, teammate, ha? 20 times 2. 20 plus. Yeah. <laughs> Ito Taladua. na naman. Ganda nung pasa, Cachuela. Kukubusan ng oras. Shot lock violation. Pero ganda nung mga kawit ni Ferrer doon, no? Buong buo. 18 to 15. Must score situation already for Zamboanga Valientes MLB. Ferrer gets the step. Takes. What a find. Wontilia. Umatake, Reed could not finish. Mulawan, aatake, lefty left is money. Kanira na yata dapat yung kay Reed kanina, no? Oo. Hindi na babalik sa'yo, eh. Would have been better if he took that shot. Oh, not a good idea. Dribbling against Alcantara. Tapos foul pa ang Pipito. Contra sa Terra Firma. Not a problem for them, though. Only their fourth team foul with 58.6 seconds remaining here in the game clock. Puntilla from the outside, no good. Shaq Alanis with the board. Sharp crossover for Shaq. There's a foul away from play. This could be it. And two free throws yet. First free throw for Cachuela. Won't work. Mabuhay pa ang Zamboanga Valientes. Hindi pa dyan magtatapos ang ating laban. One more free throw though for Cachuela. He splits it and they're on the hill. 20 to 16. Alcantara for two. Much needed basket. One possession deficit. Alanes, one on one. Shaq for the win. Porcentuhan na lang ang labanan doon ni Shaq Alanes. Knew that he liked the matchup against Alcantara. Inatake sa loob. Dinapos with a banker as Terra Firma 3x3 will be able to finish day one of the competitions with two wins against a lone defeat. And our best player, Shaq Alanes, saan tumapo sa laban na to as they win 21 to 8. Another strong performance for this high scoring 3x3 player. And when he is scoring well, when he is in his group, they are a very good team. Taladua, Alanes, they have to be a constant. And with Cachuela chipping in eight points, they were a, a three point better team than Sabanga Valientes in our final match, our 14th game. It is, I think, day one. So they will have to wait for what happens tomorrow in that matchup. Pakanilang pool.